Hey there, developers. Welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the world of Flutter development. If you're battling with a Flutter app that just won't budge past the splash screen on iOS, you're in the right place. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more life-saving Flutter tips. Let's get your app up and running. Getting stuck on the splash screen can be a real headache. It usually means something's amiss during the app's launch phase. Whether it's an initialization deadlock, a problematic plugin, or a resource-intensive task, we'll troubleshoot it together. First off, let's run your app in debug mode. Use Flutter Run and keep an eye on the console. Xcode can also be super helpful here. Check the debug output for any exceptions or warnings that might give you a clue. Next up, your info.plist and launch configurations. Make sure they're all set up correctly. A misconfigured plist can lead to unexpected behavior on launch. If you're using third-party packages, ensure they're all iOS compatible and up to date. Run Flutter Pub outdated to see if any updates are available that might fix compatibility issues. Sometimes the solution is as simple as cleaning your project. Run Flutter clean to wipe the slate clean, then navigate to your iOS folder and run pod install to refresh your Cocoa Pods. Is something blocking your main thread? Heavy processing or synchronous network calls during initialization can be culprits. Make sure any heavy lifting is offloaded to a background thread. Implement a timeout strategy or initialization tasks. This way, if something is taking too long, you can catch it and handle it gracefully without leaving your users staring at a static screen. Dive into any iOS-specific code you've written. Open up Xcode and take a look at your appdelegate.swift or appdelegate.m file. Ensure your lifecycle methods are not causing the hangup. If you've tried all these steps and you're still stuck, the Flutter community is an invaluable resource. Sites like Stack Overflow, Flutter's subreddit, or even the Flutter Discord channel can offer you more personalized help. And there you have it, folks. We hope one of these solutions worked for you. If it did, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and share your victory with the community. If you're still struggling, let us know in the comments, and we'll jump in to help. Keep coding, stay fluttered, and I'll see you in the next video. While you're waiting for those comments to roll in, let's talk about a few more advanced steps you can take. Sometimes the issue might be related to your iOS build settings. Open Xcode. Go to your project's build settings and make sure everything is configured for your target iOS version. Another thing to consider is the size of your assets. Large images or files loaded at startup can cause delays. Optimize your assets to ensure they're not slowing down your app launch. Also, take a look at your network configuration. If your app is making API calls on startup, network latency or failure could be the issue. Implementing a caching strategy or setting up proper error handling for network requests can mitigate this risk. Lastly, if you've exhausted all other options, creating a new Flutter project and migrating your code can sometimes resolve underlying issues that are hard to pinpoint. This should be a last resort, but it's worth mentioning. Remember, troubleshooting is part art, part science. It's about methodically working through potential issues until you find the solution. Stay persistent and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. That's all for today's guide on fixing a Flutter app stuck on the splash screen for iOS. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and consider sharing it with other Flutter developers. Subscribe for more Flutter content and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest videos. Happy coding, and I'll see you next time.